Hello all. As we had indicated that the Poshan Maha celebrations for us were a beginning and not the end. So throughout this year until next Poshan Maha 2023, we will be continuing our analysis on different aspects of child malnutrition <clears throat> and present these to the viewers for their own judgment, drawing of conclusions and so on. What we propose to do now is to bring out one episode, preferably every uh, Friday, late afternoon, so that people have the weekend available to them to go through the presentation at their convenience. We will cover all the states of India in terms of their journey from NFHS 4 to NFHS 5 and then move to other topics as well, uh, different ways of analyzing the situation. And as we repeatedly mentioned, uh, can you look at this dream of a Kuposhan Mukt uh, district, if not a Kuposhan Mukt state, and eventually, of course, a Kuposhan Mukt Bharat. Today, the state we are covering is the state of Gujarat, its journey from NFHS 4 to NFHS 5. Uh, like Maharashtra, it is one of the prosperous uh, states. And let us see how it has fared uh, in terms of uh, child malnutrition. The overall story, which will unfold as we go along, is that it has done well in reducing levels of child malnutrition uh, on the whole, but its eastern sector remains a matter of concern. We will come to this in a bit. It has performed well in terms of the child mortality reduction, uh, though IMA reduction is a uh, little sluggish. On the anemia front, the situation has worsened, <clears throat> but as we had put this caveat in a uh, few other earlier analysis, the plausibility of the anemia data in NFHS 5 and its comparability with NFHS 4 anemia data would uh, would have certain question marks, but we see a uh, worsening of the situation. And uh, interestingly, there is a considerable regional variation. So the southern part, the northern part and the eastern part, they show different uh, performance uh, as far as the journey between NFHS 4 and NFHS 5 is concerned. So it's important that we map this across the state and see how different regions have performed. And uh, as we have uh, said in our earlier analysis as well, that this mapping has been used using the NFHS 4.india GIS uh, .org and nfhs5.indiagis.org. So the readers may go to the, or the viewers may go to this site, uh, do their own analysis uh, and draw their conclusions. It's a fairly uh, user-friendly uh, site and not a uh, rocket science to master it. If we look at underweight, now we see significant improvement across the state except in the eastern cluster. And this eastern cluster, particularly the Dahod Panchmahal to Dangs, we will see this remains an area of concern uh, as we go along. In doing this, what we have done is we have used NFHS 4 cutoffs and they have been retained in the NFHS 5 cutoffs because here we are not comparing Gujarat with any other state or region. It's Gujarat with Gujarat itself. Uh, in NFHS 4 versus NFHS 5. That's uh, approach we have consistently maintained. So you see an improvement and it's, it's fairly clear on the southwestern districts. Go to stunting, you see a mix across the state and the eastern sector is again remaining a cause of concern. If you look at the data range, what you see, it's 22.6 uh, at the lower end and 50.6 at the upper end. The lower end has gone down marginally in stunting. 
but is the upper end which is a matter of worry from 50.6 it has gone up by 5.50 5.34 and that's something which the state needs to worry about is it the eastern uh, fringe which is uh, needing more attention when it comes to wasting again we see considerable improvement particularly in the uh, southwestern and the northern part but Uh, the red cluster here uh, is again uh, not shown much improvement if you look at the data range it has marginally gone down at the lower end but then it has gone up appreciably it has uh, gone down appreciably at the higher end so that is one good thing which we see and we also see the uh, southeastern set of districts showing some improvement here When we go to severe wasting, we see again a major improvement in the western districts, southern districts. Uh, the eastern districts are uh, uh, showing some amount of worsening. In fact, moving from green to yellow, I think that's not a great sign. If you look at the data range again, what we see is it has gone up uh, marginally, though. Uh, but uh, worsening has been seen now this this uh, wasting and severe wasting being area of concern uh, does raise certain issues we are doing well in the state is doing well in terms of uh, stunting and underweight uh, let us look at the figures of mortality look at the child mortality that is uh, under 5 the state has done well i think you can see the decline and it is fairly appreciable in uh, neonatal mortality also you see a decline from 26.8 to 21.8 that that's quite appreciable but if you look at infant mortality i think the reduction is a little sluggish now this has interesting implication if neonatal mortality reduces appreciably but the infant mortality doesn't show commensurate uh, reduction then there is something happening in the post neonatal uh, mortality period that means uh, from 1 month uh, to 12 month uh, uh, age group of children and that's something which the state may need to look at and because usually post neonatal mortality is considered to be relatively easier to reduce than the neonatal but uh, here we are seeing a mixed picture if you look at anemia among children in the 6 to 59 month age group now we see considerable worsening the data range itself has moved from 42.3 at lower end nfhs 4 81.4 at the higher end nfhs 4 now it has moved to 66.7 at the lower end which is which is matter of worry and there is issue of plausibility and at the higher end it has gone all the way to 93.2 and this is something which we need to take a closer look at if you look at uh, all women 15 to 49 year age group again we see a worsening and interestingly this contiguous patch on the eastern side that is a matter of worry the the southern uh, and the western districts uh, have done better but this eastern contiguous patch uh, is is a cause of concern and as far as the range is concerned at the lower end it has again worsened from 39 to almost 47 at higher end the worsening is marginal but it it's still a matter of concern so where does this all come together one of the worrying point that comes up is and is for both gujarat and maharashtra that the prosperity economic prosperity of the states uh, doesn't seem to be translating into uh, the child malnutrition reduction in a commensurate way one doesn't say that the reduction has it happened but for a prosperous state i think the reductions should be um, faster and they should perhaps be role model to other state but uh, the eastern sector as i mentioned is a matter of concern because we did a quick analysis and found that among the 15 lowest uh, performing districts in underweight in stunting and investing 
this dahod uh, panchmahal to tapi dangs this particular cluster uh, seems to uh, come in repeatedly and it also joins uh, or it is joined by the nandurbar district in maharashtra so it's a contiguous belt and there is a need to seriously look at uh, what could be done here as we mentioned in mortality uh, the state has done well the imr reductions particularly the post neonatal need perhaps some acceleration anemia situation has worsened we looked at some of the promising districts of uh, gujarat and uh, interestingly porbandar and junagadh seem to have done well porbandar uh, appears to have done well both on underweight and stunting wasting remains an area of concern uh, so can this uh, district a particularly poor bandar dream in terms of becoming kuposhan mukt and in our humble opinion this could be a befitting tribute to the you know father of the nation and i think the state needs to uh, seriously think about it we leave the readers with this uh, interesting thought uh, and move to our next analysis thank you very much